Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at an exercise or a CPA simulation that deals with premium liability. Let's start this exercise. Clean Solutions is a cleaning product manufacturer that includes one coupon in each box of dishwash and detergent that it packs. The company offers a promotion where a customer can redeem 10 of those coupons for a free softener box. So simply put, for each with each box of dishwashing detergent, you will get one coupon. You collect 10 of those and you, you can exchange them for a softener box. In 20X1, Clean Solution purchased 10,000 boxes of those softeners at 75 cent each. And we purchased 10,000. Sold, we sold 150,000 box of dishwashing detergent at $4.20 per box. During the year, 50,000 coupons were presented for redemption, and it's estimated that 60% of all coupons will eventually be presented for redemption. We're going to ask, we're going to answer a series of questions. It's first, what's the cost of premium purchased in 20X1? The revenue earned from the sale of dishwashing detergent. The liability for the premium redeemed in 20X1. The liability for unredeemed coupon at the end of X1 and the estimated liability for future redemption based on the percentage of coupon expected to be redeemed. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles, my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Starting with the cost of premium purchased. We purchased 10,000 of those boxes. 10,000, 75 cent each. The total cost of the premium is 7,500. We will debit premium inventory or simply inventory and we credit cash. And this is to purchase, now we have 10,000 boxes of, of those bounce, the box softener. Next, we're gonna compute the revenue earned from the sale of the dishwashing detergent. Well, we sold 150,000 unit at 420 each Total sales is 630,000. The, the entry is debit, cash. We're gonna assume we sold them for cash, credit inventory. We are going to ignore the cost of goods sold. Now, with this sale, the 150,000 sale comes the, the coupons because now customers, they're gonna collect the coupons and we sold 150,000. So there are 150,000 outstanding coupons. Now, in 20X1, we were told 50,000 of these were redeemed. 50,000 divided by 10, it means we have to give 5,000 boxes of bounces. Well, liability for premium redeemed, uh, redeemed 5,000 times 75 cent each is 3,750. We debit premium expense because now we're gonna, we're gonna send these out for free, basically not for free as a redemption. Well, it's an expense for us. They're not giving us anything in return and we're gonna credit inventory. Now, in total, we were we, we, there are 150,000 of those coupons outstanding. We estimate 60% to be redeemed. In other words, we estimate 90,000 in total to be redeemed. Of those 90,000, 50,000 were already redeemed. It means we still have 40,000 of coupons of potential potentially to be redeemed based on our estimate. 40,000, that's gonna give us an additional 4,000 boxes of softener that will need that will need to go outside the door. Now, this is all assumption. This is all estimate. Well, if we still have to give up 4,000, it means we still have 3,000 of an expense of future expense that we're going to have to incur in future period. But we have to record this expense now. Why? Because we sold 150,000 unit in year X1. The expense that goes with those sales has to be recorded in year X1. In other words, we already recorded how much of the expense? 3,750 of those expenses on the previous slide. Now we need to record an additional 3,000 of these expenses because these expenses really are related 
to the sale that took place in X1. Therefore, we have to comply with the matching principle. So therefore, we have to debit an expense. Now, we're not given anything out yet. We're just debiting an expense. We're going to credit a liability because it's our obligation to give those boxes out. Now, eventually in year X2, we're going to assume in year X2, people came back and they indeed they redeemed the 4,000, the, I'm sorry, the 40,000 coupons. And we have to give them the 3,000, the 4,000 boxes of softener, which cost us $3,000. Now we debit the, the liability. Now we are reducing our liability and we credit inventory premium, which is $3,000. Now let's take a look at the inventory premium and see what happened here. You remember inventory premium, we purchased 7,500 of those. On the prior slide, on the prior slide, we redeemed 3750, 3750, and now we redeemed 3,000. So let's take 7,500 minus 3750 minus 3,000, we still have $750 worth of worth of boxes of those softener boxes. Now, why did we overbuy? Why did we overbuy? Literally, literally we overbuy by 10% because the original amount was an estimate. That 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 60% here was an estimate. Now, what can we do? Maybe we can sell those we can sell those remaining 1000 boxes for a dollar. So let's assume we sold each one for a dollar. We're going to debit cash because we still have 1,000 boxes for a dollar. We're gonna credit sales for a dollar. Then we're gonna credit cost of goods sold for 750 and credit premium inventory for 750. 750 and now we got rid of all those boxes. Just in case you're wondering, it doesn't add up to 7,500. It's not going to. You just estimated. You purchased 7,500 just to make sure in case more people came back because remember, we said 150,000, we estimated only 60% to be redeemed, okay, which is 60%, which is 9,000 coupon. Now, there's no reason that 120,000 could be redeemed. We will have to go back and buy more under those circumstances. The point is, it's an estimate, so keep that in mind. Also, keep in mind that we have to match the expense with the revenue. And remember, we have to book a liability against that expense because the expense, we're recording the expense now based on some sort of an estimate. So it's an expense liability until that liability is met, which is in year, I would assume in year X2, they came back and redeemed those coupons. An important concept. This is an important concept, how you accrue a liability, how you, re how you reduce the liability. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs, true, false, additional lectures that's going to help you understand these concepts better. Whether you are studying for your CPA, CMA, accounting certification, or simply put, continuous profession, professional education, invest in yourself.